How many grapes are in a bottle of wine? In one hand we have a bunch of grapes, in the other a bottle. Are you curious how many grapes fit into the bottle? If you don't plan to pack them in whole but instead turn them into delicious red or white wine, it won't be just a few. Of course, it depends on the type of wine and the size of the grapes. But the average for one 750 milliliters bottle is about 700 grapes. So one bunch won't be enough, you'd need at least 10 bunches. If you went to buy that amount in a supermarket, making wine at home probably wouldn't pay off. But in shops you usually buy so-called table grapes, while winemakers grow completely different varieties, mostly with a higher sugar content. Will it rain when dogs eat grass? That dog is eating grass. It's definitely going to rain. Is there really some truth to this old saying? Or does the dog simply like the taste of grass? Ordinary grass is actually nothing unusual in a dog's diet. However, if the dog decides to snack on it instead of kibble, it has its reasons. It's quite possible it ate something bad, it's feeling unwell now, and by eating long blades of grass, it's trying to induce vomiting. But if it's chewing the grass very carefully, it could be a sign that its diet lacks certain nutrients and it's trying to supplement them this way. Do you still think dogs eat grass more often before rain or a storm? Perhaps a sudden drop in pressure is to blame, which could make the dog feel nauseous. However, this has not been scientifically confirmed. Most of the time, a dog's ability to predict rain is considered nonsense. Can you lose weight from a smell? Don't feel like exercising or eating healthy things? No problem, there are other options. For example, you can just smell apples. Sounds like nonsense? Everything is confirmed by neurological studies. According to scientists, taste and smell are very closely connected. We fully enjoy most foods thanks to their aroma, and the nose is also connected to the satiety center located in the hypothalamus. That's where it's decided whether we are hungry or want to keep eating, and some smells can suppress this feeling. In a laboratory in Osaka, Japan, for instance, mice lose weight when regularly exposed to the smell of grapefruit. It suppresses the craving for sweets. In Chicago, they're testing it directly on people, and they lose weight from the smell of green apples and bananas. The scent of vanilla also helps. It delivers neuropeptides to the brain that create a feeling of fullness. Peppermint is even said to increase the desire to exercise. How many artificial satellites orbit the Earth? If you ever set out on a journey around our planet, make sure to study the rules of space traffic carefully. Orbit isn't some quiet country road, it's more like a heavily trafficked highway. The first satellite is Sputnik, which launched into space on October 4, 1957. Although it burned up in the atmosphere a few months later, it now has about 9,000 successors. Even though some of them have also ceased to exist, more than 5,000 are still orbiting the Earth. Roughly half of them are functional, the rest no longer communicate and make up so-called space debris. If we had discarded parts of carrier rockets and fragments created when these objects collided or exploded, we end up with about 20,000 objects larger than 10 centimeters and more than 100,000 larger than a centimeter. There are millions of the tiniest pieces in orbit, and altogether they create a proper fog around the planet that mainly gets in the way of astronomers observing the stars. Which human movement is the fastest? Do legs move the fastest when we run? Or is it the eyelids? Whose blinking we often don't even manage to notice? No no no! One blink takes us on average 150 milliseconds. However, there is a movement we can perform in 7 milliseconds, which is 20 times faster. It's snapping fingers. That's exactly what researchers at a technology institute in Georgia, USA, measured using high-speed cameras. Our thumb performs a kind of rotational motion when snapping. So they calculated its angular velocity, and it's up to 7,800 degrees per second, about three times faster than a professional baseball player can swing their arm. 
In doing so, the thumb reaches a record angular acceleration of 1.6 million degrees per second. The human body can't do anything faster than that. Why don't coniferous trees shed their needles? Deciduous trees are shamelessly stripped of their leaves in autumn, while coniferous ones are left alone. Even though this is a well-known fact, why is it, with some exceptions, the case? Leaves evaporate a large amount of water. Most of the year this isn't a problem for the tree, as it replenishes water from the ground through its roots. The problem comes in winter, when the soil is frozen. The tree wouldn't absorb anything and would dry out. That's why it prefers to drop its leaves in time. The narrow and tough needles of conifers, however, are covered with a waxy substance that prevents water from escaping easily. That's why they can stay in place during winter. The conifer that loses its needles is the larch. Its needles are completely different, flat and far less tough than those of a spruce or pine. They would evaporate water just like regular leaves. In the end, though, all coniferous trees do shed their needles. Not all at once, but gradually, so new ones can grow in place of the old. Can we have more than one cold at the same time? The word cold sounds quite unusual in the plural, we simply only have one. But if we ask differently, whether our cells can be attacked by more than one type of virus that causes a cold, the answer is yes. The cold is caused by rhinoviruses, of which there are about 300 types. So the immunity gained from one cold does not solve anything. Another virus comes along and our nose runs again. We can even have two different viruses, rarely three, at the same time. For example, the flu virus and the rhinovirus that causes the common cold can meet, because they both attack the same type of respiratory tract cells. A combination of respiratory syncytial virus and rhinovirus is common in children, both of which cause a cold and cough. However, the presence of two viruses does not mean that the illness will last twice as long or that it will be more severe. Symptoms of one of the infections may not appear at all. What does water taste like? Salty, sweet, bitter, sour, umami, or maybe we even come up with our own name for the taste when we eat or drink. Simply put, everything tastes like something. But what if we wanted to describe the taste of plain, clean water? Food and drinks contain cocktails of molecules that stimulate our taste buds. These send a signal to the brain, and the brain gives the taste a name. The H2O molecules in clean water seem to leave the taste buds alone. That's why it was long assumed that water simply had no taste. But is that really the case? Scientists at the California Institute of Technology couldn't accept this, so in 2017 they started an experiment. They looked at the taste receptors in mice and found that even when they were given clean water, the receptors showed electrical activity. In fact, they responded to water quite differently than other basic tastes, and therefore the taste of water could potentially be classified as a sixth basic taste. Why is plastic dishware wet after the dishwasher? Anyone who can't live without a dishwasher has asked this question many times. What's wrong with the dishwasher that those plastic bowls are always wet? A repairman won't help you. There's nothing wrong with the dishwasher. Especially during the rinsing phase, it gets very hot inside the dishwasher, easily up to 85 degrees Celsius. And different materials react to this in different ways. It mainly depends on their thermal conductivity. Metals have the highest conductivity, so pots heat up the most in the dishwasher and we take them out hot and dry. With glass and ceramics, the conductivity is about 10 times lower. These items heat up more slowly, but also cool down slowly. And the water eventually evaporates from them too. Even less conductive plastic is also very light. Because of that, it absorbs much less heat than, for example, ceramics, and that's not enough for drying. But you can find various tips online. For example, stack plastic items in the corners of the top rack. Water doesn't fill the various grooves as much, and less of it remains on the dishware in the end.
Why does a rainbow have seven colors? First, let us disappoint you, it's just a myth. A rainbow definitely doesn't have seven colors. So where did that number come from? Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. The rainbow was first split into seven colors by English physicist Isaac Newton in his 1704 work Optics. When he directed a concentrated beam of light into a glass prism. And the light split into the individual components of the spectrum. He counted exactly seven of the most distinct shades and included them in the so-called chromatic circle. Newton also supposedly believed that seven was a magical number that defined the order of the universe. Eventually, this number of colors became accepted. In reality, a rainbow has as many colors as there are shades across the full width of the visible light spectrum, and we could theoretically count endlessly. However, the human eye can distinguish roughly 200 of them. 